hello everyone it's Tracy welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing May's monthly budget I am using the elevated life co planner let me move this over and let's go to May let's go to the calendar spread so dates that we need to remember is May 8th that's Mother's Day and then May 30th that's Memorial Day for the month of May we have four paychecks that is going to be May 4th, May 13th, the 18th, and the 27th. On Fridays is when I meal plan, so I just added some stickers here. Goals for the month, I am looking into an investment account that I want to open. So I am looking into M1 Finance and just going to check what type of accounts they offer and so forth and also I want to start working overtime categories that we keep track of are groceries and household gas eating out medical and miscellaneous now let's go to the monthly budget so for the month of May the total income we're gonna budget with is six thousand one hundred and five dollars Coming down to our fixed expenses, we have Tides, $604. That's based off of our income. St. Jude, $21. World Vision, $39. Mortgage, if you're new, we paid off our mortgage last year. And so I still like to add that line item here and just put a zero. Utilities, we have the electric, the gas, water, and internet. And we're going to budget $550. Cell phone is for three lines, 75. Lawn services is $50 bi-weekly, so that is a total of $100. Dog food delivery is $41. Storage, that came down from $3 to $2. I did delete one of the storage plants for my phone. Car insurance went down from $155 now to $146. Disney annual pass, that is for $2 passes $37 a month and then life insurance is two policies $92 a month the total is $1,707 let's add that up and double check 604 21 39 550 75 141 2 146 37 92 $1,707 and let's deduct the income, $6,105. We have $4,398 and then now we're gonna come to debt savings and investing. Roth IRA, that is $400, that is $200 for my husband, $200 for myself. Property taxes and insurance, since our mortgage is paid off, we now have to pay our own property taxes and home insurance on our own. So we have a sinking fund of $300. The last and final debt we have is car, our car payment, and that is $317. And we're gonna send extra $1,683 to the car payment. That total is $2,700. And let's check that. 400, 300, 317, 1683, $2,700, and let's deduct the balance, $4,398. We have $1,698 for our variable expenses. We do not budget a specific amount for any of our variable expenses. What we do is we just make sure we don't go over that amount. So we have groceries and household that is lumped together. Gas for the vehicles, Eating out, medical, and everything else is under miscellaneous. That is our budget for May. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.